Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spell the T anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Sending good vibes, sending good energy, sending positivity and blessings to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, today, we we're talking about Love and Marriage DC, you guys. This show, is this show in trouble? Is this show going to get renewed for a season three? And even if it does get renewed for a season three, will it potentially get its last? What am I talking about? So we are at a series low in ratings, you guys, of this latest episode of season two, episode five, with a breaking in of 217,000 viewers, you guys. Um, not only a season low for this season, but a series low overall, because for the most part, all of season three pretty much uh, was averaging close to um you know in the upper 300,000s i think a few times it got close to 400,000 but i don't think it quite cracked 400,000 and i think as far as low numbers it was kind of like around 291,000 276,000 and so forth but this raked in you guys the series low 217,000 viewers you guys so my question is this do you guys miss monique samuels is it the cast as a whole that you're just not into? Is it the storylines that you're not into? I notice a lot of the cast, they've been doing a lot more lives and, um, you know, really trying to bring up the engagement and bring up the fan interest and everything else into the show. But what is the disconnect that people are not watching and that the ratings are decreasing like this, you guys? Because this is very serious, right? This is very serious because it's not even hitting it's average you guys like i thought it would at least hang around 250 right 250k viewers but it's about to break under 200,000 viewers you guys which is not good and there's nothing going on this weekend other than all-star weekend but i mean even with that being said those ratings came out and those were also one of the lowest lowest rated all-star weekends in in their history so it can't be we i can't even blame the nba on why people didn't tune into this right and president's day was on monday so i'm not even going to even count that because the show came on saturday so so ultimately here's the thing i want you know obviously there to be success I don't want these people to, you know, lose out on an opportunity or whatever else. I was initially intrigued with the show. I unfortunately haven't had time yet to catch up on this season. I still intend to, but your girl's severely busy. But I want to know from you why the ratings are very low. And, and, and what is what do you guys think the issue is? Is it the storyline? Is it the cast shakeup? Is there really a void without Monique Samuels being a part of this cast? Like, what is it that is the issue that fans are tuning out of the show, right? And, like, what is going on? And maybe, Carlos, can you tell us? Because you're promoting the heck out of Real Housewives of Potomac, you guys, <laughs> on Bravo. You are doing reviews upon reviews upon reviews. But can you tell us what is going on with Love and Marriage DC? Because this was supposed to also be a barometer for potential other spinoffs, potential other franchises to other cities. But if this falls off this quickly, that is not a good sign, even if there was to be a season in Atlanta, you guys. This is not a good sign at all, five episodes in, for the ratings to be this low. So I'm curious what you guys think about this in the comments. Please let me know. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.